Konnichiwa, konbangwa, welcome back to my channel Japan Enthusiast And in this video, actually this is a little bit too late to be uploaded But anyway, I want to upload it, this is the, my top 10 anime ending of summer 2022 So before we go to the top 10, let's go straight to the honorable mention Number 10, Summertime Render Ending 2, Setsuren Song Takusan Kiite Naite Bakari no Watashi wa Mo by Riria. Uh, again, this is one of the dramatic kind of ending, I believe, and I really like this vibe of uh, Summertime Render Ending. And I, I do know uh, very much about Riria, but I like her voice, and that's the reason why I put it on my number 10. Number 9, Kakko no I Nazuke Ending 2, Hello, Hello, Hello by Air Aoi. Air Aoi is one of my most favorite Japanese female singer of all time, but uh, this one is on the weaker side, I believe. Um, usually her song uh, has a high tempo and also the uh, AG rock vibe, but this is the vice versa of that, and that's the reason why I put it on my number 9. Number 8, Lycoris Recoil Ending Hana no To by Sayuri Again, uh, Sayuri is one of my most favorite Japanese singer of all time And this one is also on the weaker side of her song Because uh, it lack of that edginess, lack of that uh, vibes that Sayuri is uh, usually bring to the table but anyway it's still a good ending and i put it on my number eight number seven kinso no fermi gakkepuchi majutsu siwa saikyo no yakusai to maho sekai wo sukisumu suzumu mortal with you by mili so this one is actually a little bit weird uh dark vibe uh, ending um, and Millie is um, famous for filling the uh, opening of the Goblin Slayer and also uh, several anime opening and ending uh, but anyway this one is has that dark vibes that really fit to the show itself although the show itself um, bring the sometimes cheerful vibe but actually the story itself a little bit dark but wholesome and that's the reason why I put it on my number 7. Number 6, Utawareru mono futari no hakuoro ending Hyaku Nichiso by Suara. So, Suara again, um, the opening, I cannot believe I put both of the opening and ending in the top 10 because it blows my mind away. And I really like this ending. Um, I really like Suara. Maybe I will discover her more later. But anyway, this is my number six. Number five, Shadows House second season ending, Masquerade by Clarice. So I've been a fair Clarice fans for a long time since the Oreimo, but then uh, the already grow up to become a woman now um, the voice is slightly changed and uh, I really like them I still like them until now and that's the reason why I put it on my number five my everything, my everything that I love was number four overlord for ending no man's down by Mayu Maeshima 
again, Mayu Mayashima, one of the best Japanese singer, maybe, I think, uh, because uh, she was the uh, vocalist of the Myth and Roid, but then um, she now uh, pushed her solo career, and I really like the characteristic of her voice and the switch it up between English and Japanese. And anyway, this is a very fit song for the ending of the Overlord and deserve a number four spot. I still love you, even though I miss you, the one is number three, Made in Abyss, Retsujitsu no Ogon Q ending Endless Embrace by Myth and Roid. So this pick of the devil, um, current uh, vocals of Myth and Royet and anyway the only differences between the uh, Mayu Mashima and Myth and Royet now uh, beside from the vocal uh, is the music itself. Myth and Royet music, the composition, the uh, mixing etc uh, is really really good and I really like it. I think it's superior compared to the Overlord ending and it deserved number 3 spot on my list. Number 2, Buchigire Ending Dazai, Democracy by Nameless. This one is actually a dark horse, I never expected uh, this on my list at all, but anyway, it is on my list. So, I can't speak too much or too many about this one, um, and that's the reason why I put it on my number 2. <laughs> Number 1, Yofukashi no Uta ending Yofukashi no Uta by Creepy Nuts. There's a long story about this one, but I don't want to tell you a story in this compilation. But anyway, uh, this is the song that inspired the anime, uh, the manga itself. The anime got adapted from, adapted from the manga, and the anime using the song itself. So it's full looping. And that's the reason why I put it on my number 1. So do you agree with my list? Let me know in the comments below. Please like this video, share it to other people who also are Japan enthusiasts, and uh, write a comment if you want to say something to me. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel to help me monetize this channel. Thanks for your attention. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Janay!